Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you an open source GitHub project, Pixar. Pixar's author doesn't happy with Imgur and Pastebin, so he decided to create a new application to easily host the images. A demo you can find out from the website, pixar.org, a very simple interface. You have to log in with that domain or create a user account. There's quite a lot of features listing here, such as user account, and uh, you can do EXIF stripping, supporting most popular image formats, and you can convert and edit the images. You also can expand in images as well. Uh, one of the features I like a lot is ShareX. And point it support Docker image deployment, make it much much more easier to do. So that's why we are having this video. Again, I already have quite a few video talk about ShareX, how to integrate it with Backbridge, Tabby, those free S3 compatible online storage website using ShareX. One key you can capture a screenshot and then upload to those free storage website and then get the URL to paste for it. Imgur also can do the same thing, but if you really want to control your data on your hand, this Pixar project maybe can give you an idea how to create your own self-hosted website. I do have blog posts to show you how to do installation, how to updating, how to backup data, all those kind of stuff. Take a look. You will find the link from this video description. At the same time, so we're gonna using Oracle Cloud Free Tier to do this demo, since Oracle Free Tier providing 10 terabytes per month outbound data transfer, and also gave you 200 gigabyte storage to use. So now let's start it. If you just want to see how quickly you can spin up a Docker to bring this Pixar application up and running to taste it how it looks like, then it's easy to use Play with Docker, this website, to create one. So what we need to do, we just need to create a Docker Compose.yml file and then copy the whole content into that file. Then we will be able to get it up and running in two minutes. Control Shift V to paste everything in and then save the file. Once you have the file ready, which you copied from my blog post here, then you can bring it up using Docker compose up dash d command so that's only two commands you need to put it in one is creating docker compose dot yml file and the other one is just bring it up and running so then you just need to wait in one minute it should be up and running and then you can just open the portal to see how it looks like there's a port 8080 we mapped here, so basically we just need to port 8088 here and open it, then you will see. So we need to log in to be able to have permission to upload since we didn't allow the guest by default. The default username is admin and the password you should be able to find from the docker compose yml file. That's the pixel admin password we define there. Then Don't need to save the password. Now you should be able to upload the image to the. So that's how simple you can do it. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to use Oracle Cloud to do it because we're going to use in NPM to do reverse proxy and using our own domain to make it more secure using HTTPS and hosting everything on your own VPS.
the steps to create a computer instance is very straightforward. I'm gonna use Ubuntu 18.04 image and uh, free tier shape and the no change for the NIC information. I'm gonna upload my own public key. All other settings will be default, so no changes. Just change the image, upload the key, then you should be able to create it. So that's the step for you to create your own instance. There's one thing you may want to do later on is set up your network security group to allow port 8088. So in here, I have already created some common ports open for the instance I have. So if you haven't do it before, then you may want to think about it to create your own NSG group. Then you need to add port 8088 into this list. I already did that. So basically, you just need to add a new one and put ingress, say IDR source type. This is for the whole internet, TCP port 88, and then pick serve as a description and save image. That will be to allow a port 8088 to be opened for your instance. In a couple of seconds, you should be able to get your instance up and running. We can take a look at the instance. We have IP address here, which we're going to use it later on. But for now, we're just using SSH client to connect into it. Our Ubuntu test one machine is up and running. It's running on a public IP 132.145.101.55. So we use um, SSH client connect in mobile extern. So you can tell we logged in this IP. After that, we have a couple commands need to throw into this to get it running. So we need to install Docker and the Docker compose those components. Before that, we need to update the repository. So it will take probably another one minute to get it done. But after that, we should be able to create a folder to store pixels data. So let's wait this time and then we can continue. So we successfully installed the Docker and the Docker Compose. Now we go to the next step. We're going to create a folder to store pixels data. Docker data. So in this way, we can just paste the like, two command in. After that, it's a standard process. We're gonna create our Docker compose file. Same as we did in play with Docker. We just copy the whole thing in. Paste in. Save. If you want to double check, just make sure it's all are there. And then, same step Docker Compose up dash D. Now they're going to pull the image and then bring the two Dockers up. So perfect, it has been completed. So we can check Docker. Both are running right now and running on port 8088. Let's check our IP address. So we know we are running on this IP. 
we gonna using our browser to test it since we already opened the firewall port so ideally we should be able to see this simple UI to uploading your images so our next section we're going to talk about how you can use npm nginx proxy manager to change http to https and also we're going to use our own domain to access to it now we have access to our pixel website using public ip plus port number but ideally we do want to use our own domain to access to it that means we need to create uh, our own dns record and also i'm using engine x mpn of 51 sec this domain to manage all my proxy hosts we're gonna use in both tools cloudflare and npm if you want to know how to install npm how to integrate Cloudflare with MPN together so you can watch my other videos to show you how step by step can work, let those two software work together. But for now we just need to create our own record. So we're gonna have our Pixel website name here and we're gonna point pixel.51sec.eu.org to our npm's ip address again this ip address will be our npm vps ip address it's not our pixels real ip because that will be npm's job to redirect our traffic from pixel.51sec.u.org to that ip so we just need to enable pixel to point to that npm here let's put that in save it so we have pixel point to our npm now so from npm we have um, quite a few proxy hosts here so we're gonna add a new one so now we know our pixel domain subdomain add that in so this is going to be forward to this IP address plus port 8088. Another thing is you may want to enable SSL. So we're going to request a new SSL certificate. Um, make sure email address is correct and agree the term. So let's save it. So that's the only thing you do. You can do more. You can force SSL, enable HTTP2 support, HSTS, or other fancy features but for that demo purpose I would just need to make sure pixel.51sec.u.org here is up and running so we're gonna try pixel so now we are using our own domain to access it in the next section I will give you a quick overview how pixel looks like after you log in In this section, I'm going to quickly log into system and show you how the backend looks like and what the basic feature this software has. So we're going to log in. Um, the default username is admin. The password is the one we set up in the docker compose.yml file. Let's log in. So once you log in, you can go to top right admin page. There's a settings page. Um, there's a general settings. Do you want to keep the original file or not? Um, usually to save the space, no. And the system will automatically reduce the image size based on the format. And you may want to set up API key. You can add one in here and I'm using ShareX so I probably will put another video to show you how to integrate API key to use ShareX 
and then you can export the configuration and import it into the ShareX. So you can directly capture a screenshot, upload the files to the pixel, which you are hosting for yourself. So there's an interesting part. We have default user admin and the guest. You can change the password by adding this user admin. Um, for the anonymous uploading or register, you need to give a specific role to the guest. For example, right now guest can view image, use delete key and log in. So they can use those three key functions, but if you want them to be able to upload the image, which is anonymous uploading image, then you need to give this permission. Or you can let them to do the register. So we can have those enabled, and I'm going to show you once we logged out. After that, it's the system settings. By default, those settings you don't need to touch, and just keep it as default. That should be enough. So we can go back pixel and we can upload the image. I have some examples here. So let's quickly upload in them. Once you upload the image, you will see this uh, hamburger bar icon here. Then you can add the image. You can change the name of the image. And also you can set up the explanation for this image. This is the explaining the image feature which we talked about. For example, we set a 30 minute. You also can download the image after you upload it. Of course, you can share, you can customize the image change to different format and set up the height, set up width, and, sh and rotate it, and set up the quality. So there's a basic added functions are here. Now let's log out, and then we, right now we are able to upload the image now. We don't need to log in because we enabled guest uploading feature. And also we will have register function here. So you can register account to manage the uploaded pictures. This is basic video to show you how we can install this self-hosted image hosting system for yourself in your VPS and how we can use it. I hope you like it. If you found this video is interesting and have some useful information in it, give me a thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me lots of support. Thank you again. See you in my next video.